Hey everyone, today we'll be going through 2.3.1 of the Blueprint of Life Syllabus in Biology. Um, what we'll be looking at is we're going to be outlining the roles of Sutton and Bovary and identifying the importance of chromosomes. So let's annotate the question a little bit. It's asking us to outline their roles. So we need to talk about these two people, Sutton and Bovary, and we need to talk about the importance of chromosomes. Okay, so let's have a little preface here. Um, initially, these scientists Sutton and Bovary were very well known for establishing the link between the nucleus, chromosomes, and inheritance. So first off, we'll start with Bovary. What Bovary did is that he was able to study sea urchin, sperm, and eggs. And by studying these sea urchin, sperm, and eggs, he was able to come to a conclusion that inherited characteristics were found in the nucleus. Additionally, we have a second scientist called Sutton. Sutton studied how cells divide in the formation of grasshopper sperm, and through this he came to a conclusion that they arrange themselves independently of each other. And I'm talking about in the context of chromosomes. If you want something in more detail, I'll just quickly dictate it, I won't write it on, on this actual video, but Bovary, he worked on sea urchins and he showed that their chromosomes were not all the same, and that a full complement was required for the normal development of an organism. Adding on, Sutton worked on grasshoppers and showed that the chromosomes were distant entities. He associated the behavior of chromosomes with Mendel's work on the inheritance of factors and concluded that chromosomes were the carriers of heredity units. So, um, since it does have a little more detail and it does have two new things, I will just add it on really quickly here. So, as I said, Bovary, he was able to find out that chromosomes are not all the same. Then he was also able to find out that since they were not all the same, they needed a full complement, and which was actually required for normal development of an organism. So, full complement needed. For um, the normal functioning of an organism. Okay, so we can conclude th these two things, and we'll just quickly move on. So this is this is for Sutton. I mean, no, this is for Bovary. My bad. Okay, perfect. Let's move on to Sutton. And Sutton, uh, as said here, it says that Sutton worked on grasshoppers. So that's the first thing we can say he worked on grasshoppers. I've already said that in in the beginning. But just again, so you guys remember. And then more than that, after working on grasshoppers, he was able to find out that the behavior of chromosomes was really interlinked with Mendel's work and what Mendel had found out about inheritance. So he found out that chromosomes were the carriers. of heredity units. Okay everyone, thanks for watching and that was just uh, sudden. Thanks for watching everyone. Um, I hope this does actually answer the dot point and I hope we have outlined the roles of Sun and Bavarian identifying the importance of chromosomes. Thanks for watching.